Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I just want to do a quick video of a few additions I've made to my cinema room over the uh, last few months. Um, I moved into this house about 18 months ago and I did a, an original uh, video um, when the room was sort of half finished really. Um, so I'm, I'm adding all the time but um, this is the state of play for summer 2015. So basically I've got the uh, top floor, um, it's a three floor house, I've got the top floor for my cinema room and it's coming together pretty nicely now as you can see, um, all the DVDs neatly stacked. <laughs> um, so before we go through some of the things in here, um, just on the landing here uh, I've got a couple of interesting bits. I've got a um, Cabin Fever signed poster, um, which is signed by Eli Roth. Uh, quite a cool signature that, he sort of does it in the shape of a heart and a devil's tail. Um, and down um, the stairs there, um, I've got a, an original uh, Shocker poster. Um, always been a fan of that film, can't wait for it to come out on, uh, on Blu-ray from Scream Factory um, later in the year. Uh, then round here, um, I've got... Um, a original Cenobite hook which was used in Hellraiser 3 which Doug Bradley has signed to me. I've had that for years actually. Um, and then a small thing from one of the uh, Resident Evil films. And then some more posters here. I've got a Saw 4 poster which is signed, Tobin Bell uh, and a few of the other cast. Um, and this was the original poster I bought um, way back when I first started collecting this type of thing which is, uh, sorry the light's getting in the way, but it's a Scream uh, signed poster and signed by everyone, Courtney Cox, Rose McGowan, uh, Nev Campbell, uh, Skeet Ulrich, um, I'm not sure, what, oh that's Drew Barrymore at the top of course. Uh, still remains one of my favourite um, pieces that to be honest with you. And then down here um, I've got Freddy vs Jason uh, signed poster from the director Ronnie Yu as well as Robert England and uh, uh, the guy who plays Jason, whose name uh, escapes me at the moment. And at the bottom there, um, a saw doll. And then, probably one of my favourite remake of, well, of the lot really, Last House on the Left. I think it's a great remake. So I bought a poster and got a, um, a signed photo put in as well. And then you can see around here, I've got a life-size Dalek for you Doctor Who fans out there. Um, this uh, was made, it's a Genesis Dalek from uh, the Tom Baker era and it was made by the BBC um, and I bought it from a collector's shop uh, just down the road from me which has since closed. Um, it was never used in the, uh, in the series of course, I mean that would cost you an absolute fortune but um, it's totally accurate, you can actually take the top off and sit in it as well. Um, the lights work and there's a little seat and what have you. Um, but I'm assured it is a BBC made Dalek. And then to finish here, I've got a Saw 6 poster, as you can tell I'm a Saw fan, again signed by uh, Tobin Bell. So going into the main room, some more signed stuff at the top here. Uh, Mark Wahlberg's Planet of the Apes. I quite like that film, I know everyone slags it off, but um, so it's got his signature there along with a, a lot of the others and it actually includes, which is pretty cool, Charlton Heston as well uh, from, uh, obviously he, was, he did have a cameo in this film but well known from the, for the original of course. And then moving back, um, a Red Dragon signed poster by Edward Norton and Anthony Hopkins and here is an Amateurville Horror remake uh, signed photos from Ryan Reynolds and uh, Melissa George. And three fairly small ones here, Matrix signed by Keanu Reeves and the rest. Conair, put the Bernie in the box. <laughs> and yeah, that's uh, yeah pretty much signed by everyone. And then Scream 2 at the bottom there, David Arquette. Okay, and then just going into the, all of this is pretty much the same. All my DVDs are double, double um, stored. Uh, I've been collecting Blu-rays and DVDs since the, the late 90s. Um, I hate to think how many I've got. I don't catalogue them or anything like that. Um, thousands, I would imagine. 
I should do an overview of some of the rare DVDs and Blu-rays I've got as well. So yeah, just uh, various bits along here. I did buy um, a signed uh, Godzilla um, photo as well, which is signed by uh, one of the cast. And that's the um, figurine that came with the German Blu-ray of Godzilla, the most recent uh, version of that. And then my Doctor Who bits, mostly into Tom Baker. Um, I've pretty much given up on the most recent series now, to be honest. Um, and some more DVDs down here, including a Gladiator figurine. Now at the top, um, this is fairly similar to last time. Um, I think I showed you the sort of trap uh, box set before. This is new. Um, this uh, is a signed Scream 4 mask. Um, and it's signed by uh, the guy in the mouth is the is the guy that does the actual scream voice, um, and all of the main cast have signed it. So I got that sent. I think it was signed at the premiere, and I got it sent over from uh, from the states some time ago. Uh, Devil's Rejects figure, Michael Myers, which you'll see in a previous video of mine. And this is where my original Jeepers Creepers two mask has ended up. Again, I've got a video of the before and after if you care to take a look. Um, and I've put it up with um, a signed photo from uh, Jonathan Brook, sorry, Jonathan Beck, um, who's written, Take care of my face, I'll be back for it. And I suppose that's probably my favourite piece that I've got, to be honest. It looks absolutely superb now they've done it up. And just again, more DVDs and Blu rays along all the shelves, again, double stacked. Okay, then moving, moving along, again, I think all of this was here before. If you've got any questions on any of it, just drop me a line and I'll do my best to answer them. And then here, this is a bit of a change. I moved my um, Puppet Masters um, uh, replicas because I bought this, which is the Hero uh, Cyber Pinhead from uh, Puppet Master vs De Demonic Toys. Now this is the one that was actually used in the production of the film and actually was used on screen. Uh, so I'll get in a bit of a close up. Now I'm not pretending that that's the best Puppet Master film there is at all. <laughs> um, but it's just quite cool to have something that was actually used in the filming of, for me anyway, a very iconic series. And uh, you know, his hands, it's all, it's all great stuff. Um, and I bought it from the guy who actually made this uh, cabinet to keep him in with some stills from the film at the back there um, and it was surprisingly cheap for something that was used in a film but um, I know it's authentic I've got a certificate of authenticity as well with it from the um, guy that made the puppets and those are my other um, replicas a regular pinhead there and again more DVDs at the bottom including the new Sleepaway Camp 2 and 3. I'm going to do a review of those films when I uh, get around to watching them in the next week or two. Telly's still the same. Just moving over into the corner here. Um, I've got a lot of Jason um, sideshow figurines, all of them. And these are all of the exclusive ones. So they're probably worth, I don't know, $250 each, I guess. Um, and a couple of box sets that I bought recently, my favorite ones, which were sealed. Um, the Scream original DVD and the Phantasm Sphere set. And then round here, this is again pretty much the same. Um, my Jamie Lee Curtis Halloween H2O signed photo. Love that shot. Um, really cool. Love that film to be honest. And again I did a video of my Halloween signed box set um, from last year. So you can take a look at that if you're interested. And um, we've got the Scream series here. And again, I've bought uh, the Scream set from America, which again is signed by a lot of the people that did the documentaries that were on the US version that aren't on the UK one. And then finally, Freddy vs. Jason. And again, as I mentioned before, I have the um, a Freddy sweater that was used in the, in the movie. Actually, that, you can probably see that a bit better than you could on the last video. And again, uh, 
This is sort of my Wes Craven Friday the 13th sort of section here. And my uh, Slasher cl Classics collection from 88 films, which I started um, buying. And that's the pile to be watched. And my cinema seats here. And that's the pile to be filed away that I've watched. Actually, uh, while I'm here, uh, I watched White Noise and White Noise 2 again at the weekend. Bloody good films, though. Um, really, really enjoy both of them. They're, they're different stories, but um, well worth a watch if, if you've never seen them or haven't for a while. So that's pretty much my um, movie room tour for summer 2015. Um, any questions or comment, let me know. Um, and I'll be doing more reviews and updates in the coming weeks. So stay tuned. Take care, guys.